I think it's time for us to check in with Dr. John Nelson at the university and his mystery plant. How are you doing, John, and what have you got for us tonight? Hello, Amanda. Uh, tonight we've got something that I picked up on one of my field trips um, last week. Uh, as you know, I like to go collect plants every here and there. And I, Every uh, whip stitch, yes. <laughs> I've become quite a fan of the uh, plant life in Kershaw County. Uh -huh. And I was over near Camden, and I stopped at a roadside market just uh -huh. to see what was there. And I found some wonderful fruits that are actually uh, quite popular in um, uh, Latin American cuisine. But they're also um, marketed here. And uh, these actually come from a... Uh, succulent plant. I think this is going to be pretty easy for everybody. <laughs> very succulent plant. Uh -huh. Go ahead and admit that it's a kind of a cactus. Uh -huh. But this cactus, um, you know, all the cacti are native to North America, including this one. To North America? Oh, yeah. My word. North and South America. Okay, North and South. Thank you. And uh, they've been grown uh, for hundreds of years, though, all around the world. This particular one is actually quite easy to grow. And after it blooms, it'll make these fruits. And so if you ask, um, if you ask one of my students or any other fine botanist, they'll tell you that this is a kind of a berry. Sure enough, it's, a, um, <laughs> it's a, uh, technically a, a berry in the botanical sense. But not quite eat, as easy to eat as the strawberry. <laughs> not quite. In <laughs> fact, um, I want to, um, I'll, I hope to demonstrate how you eat it, but okay. you see a few pictures from my kitchen in which the uh, plants, this fruit, this funny looking fruit thing <coughs> can be peeled and you'll find that there's a, a big um, interior that's very pulpy and it's loaded with seeds. These are pretty hard seeds and the seeds aren't so great. And uh, <coughs> what, I, what I understand from this is that you could take these this pulp, once you've taken it out of the uh, peeling, and put them all, put a bunch of them in a blender and blend them up real good, <coughs> and then pour it in a colander or something to strain it all out so that you can have this juice. And it's uh -huh. actually quite tasty. My goodness. Now, are you cautious when you peel this fruit? <coughs> I would think you need to be cautious because as um, with most of the other cacti, there are going to be these little... Um, uh, nodes along the outside of the fruit that um, potentially contain, can contain those um, very problematic little what we call glockids. They're very uh, stickery, tiny little things that can get into your skin. Tiny little stickers. Ooh, they so end you probably need to, to use um, gloves to do this. Okay. And, and I think, John, I guess one reason that cacti have those little stickers all over them is that they're so full of water and nutrients that animals would like to eat them and so that's a form of protection isn't it that would uh, make sense okay. um the the berry that i have now i want to um show you what it looks like sure enough up close when you cut it in half behold aha uh -huh. yummy and, yummy um, yummy it's very uh, it's, it's pretty solid but it's quite wet and of course you can see all the seeds and i have a little piece of it that i've dissected away aha uh -huh. and, and are you going to Let's am, I, am I going to taste it? Yes. <gasps> Live on making it grow, <laughs> Dr. Nelson eats a stickery, hopefully non-toxic plant. It's safe, and these are pretty um, good for you. They've got all sorts of wonderful, friendly compounds. Wonderful. They do got a lot of... <laughs> All righty, y'all. <laughs> I think he's gotten like seed. Like <laughs> no, he didn't. I think he's free for two truck for free for two John. But um, what this he is looks, what he looks like. He's enjoying that prickly pear. prickly pear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've actually had them before, and they were quite good. Uh, 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 even the purple ones. Uh huh. Uh, oh, you yeah. had to wait for it to turn yeah, I don't red know, or purple. You know, maybe. John said that there are a lot of different varieties yeah, of prickly pear, and, and look, some of them don't. Uh, his was large, actually yeah. right because he, he said his was right. Yeah. yeah. Did you yeah, cook you, it yourself? Uh, uh, didn't cook it; just sliced it up. Oh, it you almost did? tasted like a, uh, kind of like a kiwi fruit a little. A bit. kiwi fruit, huh? John, would you yeah. agree a little bit purple. kiwi fruity tasting? Uh, that sounds good. My, okay. <clears throat> this one sort of tastes like watermelon to me. Wow. Watermelon is a berry. Well, we might just be, yeah. Watermelon's a berry, Trish reminds us. 
So that would make perfect sense. Well, John, this was great fun, and we hope that you are um, well enough to meet your 8 o'clock class in the morning, and, um, and we'll look forward to seeing you next week. I hope I'm well, too. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>